What's up guys, ViPrepPV here, and today we have the TBS Source 2 frame, and uh, this is kind of going piggyback off the Source 1, which is mostly a freestyle frame. This one is actually made for racing, and it's a really good deal. It's 25 bucks, and it's pretty good quality, I would say. It's pretty stiff, and I mean, I can barely bend it a little bit if I really give it some pressure. Um, and it's really robust. The arms are really nice and thick. Um, let's go ahead and do some measurements and um, give it a weight and see what this thing is all about. So let me go ahead and turn on my... There we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to check the arms. I believe they're four millimeter arms, which is not bad for... Yeah, there are four mil arms. Uh, and then we got, looks like on the bottom plate, three mil. And the top plate should be two. Yep, two mils. And if you guys are curious what the uh, stack looks like for how high your stack can be, um, it looks like it's going to be, looks like about 33, 34 millimeters um, to go ahead and uh, build your stack up, which is good enough room, especially for a racing frame. This is what this is made for. Um, let's go ahead and do a weight, see how much this thing weighs, see how, how competitive it will be with the other really lightweight racing frames. I don't think it's going to be crazy light, but we'll see. Um, looks like we're at 77, 78 grams or so on the weight, which is actually pretty respectable considering it is a racing frame. I think like the Ghost and then also the um, Floss frames are around like 70 to 60 grams or so. Um, so this is pretty comparable to those. Um, it's a little heavier, but for 25 bucks, I don't think you can beat it, especially if you're looking for like a, a new racing frame for the new year. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble this thing so you guys know how to do it. And if you want to stay tuned, uh, just watch how I assemble it together if you are interested in purchasing this frame as well. It's pretty easy to put together. So uh, here it goes. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and put together the Source 2 frame just to show you how it all goes together. So everything's in their package. Um, these are going to be the arms. And we're going to go ahead and take these out of the package. And we got the, I believe this is going to be the top plate. Right here. So we're pretty much just taking everything out of the package, get everything ready to install. So if you want to follow along with me, you can if you have this frame. There we go. And then we have the, this is actually, this is the bottom plate, this is the top plate right here. My mistake. And these are little adapters to go over the arms to lock them in. All right. And then this, I'm not going to take these out. These are actually for your FPV camera. Um, pretty much you'll just bend it like so and put on your standoffs. So I'll take one out actually just to show you how they go on. So you just kind of take it out of here. And there's different angles you have here. And I'll just grab, for instance, this one. If I can get it out of there. It's like a rubber. It's kind of nice it's not 3D printed. It's like a rubbery um, substance here. There we go. So you... Take it off like that, and then you'll just bend it like so, and then your camera will screw into there. This will go into the standoffs. So I'm not going to put those on right now, but we got our standoffs right here, and then it comes with a little baggie of nuts and bolts and whatnot. There we go. So everything's out of the package. And then what we're going to go ahead and do, let me get my screwdriver. I can find my screwdriver. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I've got a screwdriver. This is a 2 mil hex driver. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the bottom plate, of course. Put that there. And then we're going to take our screws and we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, push these through. The bottom plate here. Put 
and they slide in there pretty stiff, so the tolerance is pretty, pretty spot on. Let's do this first, and then we can lay it flat on the ground, and uh, put the arms on. It's the easiest way to do it. Okay, so we got all those on there. Then we're going to do is we're going to take the arms. You see this right here, and we're just going to pop them in there and kind of push them down. Same thing on this side. And the same thing in the back. So two screws hold each arm on, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get these plates, and these plates are going to go pretty much over it, like so. Same one for the front or the back. This is actually the front, and this is the back. You know that by this hole here, that's the front. And this is the back, that's how they have it set up on their picture. So those are on there. And then what we're gonna do is get our standoffs and we just put one standoff here. We're not gonna screw down all the way yet because we're gonna put those bolts on. Got that one. And then we got this one. All right. And then we have these lock nuts, or I guess they're nylon nuts. And we're gonna put those on the end of the arms, right here, there, and all four of them. So, so put those on there like that. Let's see if I have a screwdriver for this one. Okay. That driver. Um, so I'm going to tighten it down with. I'll put these all on first. And we want to make sure is that the nylock is always facing up. Put that side on. And we got that side up. And then what we want to do is just get a um, like a rack, like a socket wrench or whatever, and just tighten these up. I'm not going to go ahead and do that just to save time. Um, but then what you're going to go ahead and do after you have all these tightened up is you have your top plate. And your top plate will go just like that, and then you just put your screws in. Do all four of them. So pretty long screws. And before you put the top plate on, this is where you would want to go ahead and put on these guys for the FPV camera. Looks like this thing will accept a micro camera. Might be able to fit a mini in there. I don't think a full size will fit. Might fit, but I don't think it will. I don't have one to test it, but I definitely know a micro and a mini will fit. And then you pretty much have that there. Just put a screw in there. And then we just tighten them all down. And you might have to hold the bottom stand off a little bit to keep it from spinning. This is done, we pretty much be done with it. So long, these screws are so long. Like 
All right, last one. All right, so that's pretty much assembled, and then it does come with a battery pad. So you want to go ahead and just put that on there, on the bottom, like so. Stick that sucker on there, and then you pretty much are done. Um, just make sure, yeah, that's how you want to do it so it doesn't cover any holes. So we can stick that sucker on there right now if you want. Just peel off the sticky on the back of it. Just line it up where you want it. And there you go. So that's pretty much how you assemble the Source 2 frame. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if this helped you out, give it a like. Any questions, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.